Hi guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be talking about the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. Okay, so really quick, this video is not sponsored. I purchased this blow dryer with my own money. I'm just giving you my honest thoughts. I bought this appliance over two months ago and I feel like it's now time to do a review and to share my thoughts about this very expensive appliance. It is $400. So is it worth investing that much money in something like this? Well, if you want to find out, make sure you stay and watch the whole video. I use my hair dryer approximately four times a week. I don't wash my hair every day. I kept the original box because I don't want the device to get damaged. So I just keep it in here and when I use it, I nicely wrap the cord so it doesn't get damaged. I do want it to last forever. <laughs> So I put it away in the box nicely. So this is how it looks like after two months of use. It's it's still looking brand new. Um, we, we're gonna do a close up, but this is how it looks like. And I did get the very basic blow dryer. Like it didn't come with extra fancy things in there. Um, the only extra things that I got besides the blow dryer is this attachment and a silicone uh, little pad to lay the blow dryer on. Um, however, that's in my bathroom. Um, forgot to bring it, but it's just a little silicone pad, nothing fancy. All right, so the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer has three airflow settings. And I do have my notes with me because I can't remember everything at the top of my head. So I do have my notes. If I glance to the side once in a while, please don't mind that. I just want to share accurate information with you so you can make an educated decision if you are uh, thinking about buying this blow dryer. So it has four different temperature settings and the highest is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Then it goes down to a regular um, heat setting which is 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, after that, the setting below that is the cooler setting, which is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And the coldest setting is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. I like to use it on the cooler 140 degrees. Um, I don't like to use it at the highest setting because it does get too hot. I mean, 212 degrees is pretty freaking hot. So um, I like to, when I blow dry my hair, I actually like to put the whole head of the blow dryer like a really close to my scalp so if I were to use it on the highest setting that would definitely burn my scalp however Dyson claims that this machine here actually uh, regulates the temperature which is a very innovative I don't know of a hair dryer that does that so that was actually one of the reasons why I decided to buy this blow dryer um, because as you can see my hair is super short now. I feel like I'm starting fresh uh, My hair was super long um, If you go like two videos back my my hair was really long. I decided to donate it um, And I feel like now that my hair is short it is just the right time to start taking better care of my hair So that was one of the reasons the temperature and then the fact that this device does regulate and it checks the temperature so you don't burn your hair or your scalp. The Dyson digital motor spins at up to 110,000 rounds per minute and it is small enough to fit in the handle for balance in the hand. The motor produces a powerful stream of air that passes through intelligent heat control sensors that measure air temperature at over 40 times per second to prevent heat damage. Okay, so moving on to the attachment. This attachment is very interesting because it is magnetic and you can easily just pop it in there like this and that thing is not going anywhere like it's very sturdy and actually you know it doesn't weigh a lot I looked into the engineering of this device and it's a genius 
Um, the motor is placed here in the handle so that when you use your blow dryer, all the weight is concentrated here. And with all of the blow dryers in the market, pretty much the motor is up here. So when you're using your regular blow dryer, because the motor is up here, your wrist ends up hurting and you kind of get tired of holding the blow dryer. Um, I mean, especially if you're taking like 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes to blow dry your hair. So the fact that Dyson decided to place the motor here makes everything so much easier and it helps you keep a balance. Um, another interesting thing is that the blow dryer is hollow. It's got a hole right down the middle. So I can like, I can see you through this blow dryer. And that helps regulate like the airflow. Um, it's just engineered so perfectly. Well, Dyson claims that the blow dryer will dry your hair in less time. Let me just go ahead and read what I have pulled from their website. It reads, the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer is engineered to protect hair from extreme heat damage with fastest drying and controlled styling to help increase smoothness by 75%, increase shine by up to 132%, and decrease frizz and flyaways by up to 61%. Another cool feature is the fact that the filter is down here and you can see here my filter it's very easy to clean the fuzz just like comes out it's simple quick and easy to clean i've used this for i want to say eight weeks it's not that dirty but i mean you can see the little bunny fuzz there <laughs> very simple to clean easier than a regular blow dryer i mean just the fact that you know, you could just go like that. And that that's it. Then you're going to pop this back in there. And voila. So I really like the fact that the fan is down here, not up here. Because I like to get the blow dryer like up in here and dry my scalp. With this Dyson, I have the confidence that my hair is not going to get caught in the fan back here. Because the fan is down here. So, like if you're styling your hair or blow drying your hair and you want to be like fully dried scalp and hair, um, I normally dry my hair like 95%. I like, I like it to be really dry. Um, so, like I said, I go deep in there, like really deep in my scalp. And especially right now, because my hair is super short, I want to make sure that my hair is completely dried. So I go in there, and this is one cool thing. I mean, you can do this with the Dyson because the fan is not here, so you don't have to be afraid of your hair getting caught in there. Going back to the drying time. For the sake of this video, I did blow dry my hair a couple of times with a normal hair dryer, and that took me around like 25-ish minutes. With the Dyson, it takes me about 15 minutes, give or take. So it does cut your drying time significantly and time is money. So that is greatly appreciated, even if it's just 10 minutes that you save while you're blow drying your hair because you can use that time towards something else. Would I recommend this blow dryer? Absolutely. If you're blow drying your hair three, four times a week or more, um, I think it's a great investment. It's definitely worth it if you like to take care of your hair and you want to invest in a nice device that's going to help you uh, rock shiny and slick hair. So far, I don't have anything negative to say about the blow dryer. Um, the only thing is that it is highly priced. So, I mean, if you like to invest in your hair, if you like to take care of your hair, um, and you want to buy this blow dryer, I would say, yeah, this is probably something that you are really going to um, enjoy using and appreciate having. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, it is a very well engineered product. And you know what? Sometimes the blow dryer does remind me of a microphone just because of the handle. It's like as thick as a microphone and it's it's just, I don't know, I'm going to use it as a microphone just because it looks like a microphone to me. 
Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and come back for more videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.